A lot has changed in four decades at Darien High School, but one thing has remained constant for Blue Wave boys lacrosse, and that is head coach Jeff Bremeyer manning the sideline. Jeff is everything to this program. Coach B is one of, he's probably one of the greatest coaches in high school across history. I think what differentiates Coach B and the Darien program from other programs around the country is he's just got this love for sport that supersedes anybody else in the business. And, you know, we call him Jeff Business for that reason. This marks Coach B's 40th season at the helm of Darien Lacrosse, and after 19 FCAC championships, 14 state titles, and thousands of players later, Coach B has built quite the resume. Coach B's been doing this for over for 40 years now, and you know his knowledge of the game is just so incredible. But aside from that, he's also such a good players coach. You know, builds connections with the players. You, he really, you can really tell that he really does care for all of us, and he has our best interests at heart. And that's why we all have our full trust in him and our faith in him. Coach B just has an uncanny way of you know talking to players and kind of teaching us through things. Um, not to mention just. You know, the spirit that he brings in the locker room every day, um, you know, just getting us ready for each game. And, you know, he, he, he really just does things that I can't really put into words. He has a way about him where he commands respect, but he also has everyone's best interest in mind. Um, but his love for competing and going out and being the best every single day, whether that's a practice or, of course, you know, winning championships. His ability to just uh, command, like, a room, like, it's not like his voice is loud or scary or anything, but when he talks, people listen. He's coached hundreds of all-state, all-county, all-American players, and guys have gone on to great careers, and there are lots of guys that didn't go on to great careers, but I think I speak for most of the alums that the years that we spent playing for him, whether our memories ended in high school or continued lacrosse memories continued after it, those were still the best years ever. My favorite memories as a Darien lacrosse player were playing in the state and FCAC championship games at Brian McMahon. As a kid, you would grow up going to the games with your friends and family, sitting in the stands, idolizing your favorite players, guys like Kyle Hollingsworth, Cooper McDonnell, Wayne McCarthy, and you would sit there envisioning one day you being out there on that field and cementing your place in the legacy of Darien lacrosse players. Fast forward five or six years from that moment and you're on the field and the stage is yours. In 1984, the DHS boys lacrosse team was transitioning from a club team to a varsity sport. A young Jeff Braymeyer, who'd coached DHS football and swimming, was interested in the head baseball coach position, yet he agreed to become the school's first varsity lacrosse coach. We were, we were a baseball town and a football town and a basketball town. And uh, a bunch of guys asked him if he wanted to be the uh, the you know, the, the coach and be an, an adult advisor for, for the team. And, uh, and he, he took on that role. He didn't know much about the game and he learned it just like all of his players. We all learned together. I go way back to 1984 when we started our first year as a varsity team. And, uh, you know, frankly, none of us really knew a whole lot about it. Uh, as we got more experience, we, uh, we got better. And I think we, we won two games the first year, maybe against Norwalk and somebody else. And then we were about a 500 season the second year in 85 and in 86, we had more wins than losses. And um, it was a lot of fun. Lacrosse wasn't a big thing in Connecticut. It was Long Island and Syracuse and Baltimore. And so in Connecticut, we had New Canaan and Wilton. And then we were the other guys. I think every team's going to set goal, goals for themselves. And um, early on, it was you know, win a lot of games and beat the teams that we thought we were more talented for, uh, more talented then, but Wilton and New Canaan represented a different echelon um, in those early years. My senior year, we lost to New Canaan in overtime. That was the closest we had ever come to Wilton or New Canaan. And now thinking about it and watching these guys play, everyone, it's Darian with the target on their back. We didn't even, we had no shot of beating Wilton when I was in high school. They were that good. And for the 19th time in program history, the Darien Blue Wave will celebrate as FCAC champions. I'm proud to say that I was part of the first two teams or the first teams that did actually beat New Canaan and Wilton. And it was an incredible threshold to kind of to, to, to cr cross through. I graduated in 1997. Uh, it was the first year we won the state championship. And we knew that Darien would always be good. We had no idea how good they would really be. Uh, when I was after college, into my 30s and into my 40s, looking back, 
I was amazed at what happened back here. And coming back here now at age 44 and seeing the program up close is incredible because everything that I saw in Coach B back then had manifested in a way that was so much bigger than anything I ever expected it could be. Despite knowing little about the sport, Coach B took this program under his wings and 39 seasons later stands alone as the all-time winningest lacrosse coach in Connecticut history. He really still is a student of the game, even in his, even in his 40th year of coaching. Uh, you know, we're so grateful to have such a great leader and coach like him on the sidelines. He's just such a motivator and he gets the best out of everyone around him. He went out and he found, tried to get the best athletes to play the game, not the best lacrosse players, because that's what we learned with him and that's what he taught us, uh, was to, to, to learn the game and to be students of the game just like he was. When I think about the success that Coach B's had throughout his career, there's many different things that you could attribute it to, but what sticks out to me the most is the way that he involves himself in coaching and developing his players years before they even step foot on campus at Darien. Think back about my athletic experiences on through college and some of my best memories, I would say even my top memories are playing for Jeff, playing for Darien High School and being part of what was you know, a new program at the time. But I mean, look what he's accomplished over the last 40 years. I'm just so proud to call myself an alumnus of the program. Behind me and in front of you is a little taste of what we were talking about together through this season, about establishing all right, and carrying on the tradition of excellence that we have in this program.